Hello, welcome to track number five. I'm Maria Rosaria Re and I'm research fellow at the Department of Education of the University of Roma Tere. And I'm a member of the program committee of the Learning Idea Conference. Today, I'm here to welcome you and to introduce this session. Um, the Learning Ideas Conference brings together researchers from uh, around the world to discuss and create. It's the place uh, where the international community uh, gathers to find new path solutions and innovations in learning. Uh, today's session name is number five, and I'm happy to introduce you the first presenter of this session, Professor Concetta La Rocca uh, from the University of Roma 3, Rome, Italy. I kindly ask Professor La Rocca to share her screen. The presentation title is The Notebook to Reflect on the Meaning of Life, an Educational Proposal for the Guidance of Young Migrants. Concetta La Rocca is Associate Professor of General Didactic at the Department of Education of Roma Tre University. She's employed in many empirical research on questions about e-learning, evaluation and assessment. From 10 years, she's engaged in the construction of didactic tools useful to facilitate the formative guidance for the reflection and the narration. Uh, please remember that we are using the Q&A box for the questions and also the chat for any technical issues. So please post your question in the Q&A box and we will respond to them throughout the session or at the end of the presentation. And uh, I'd like to remind you, Professor La Rocca, that your presentation will last about 25 minutes and we will have five minutes at the end for more questions. So the floor is yours, Professor. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, also, uh, I I share my screen. Do you see my slide? Not yet. Do you see my slide? Oh, we cannot see it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you. Um, also by Massimo Margottini, who would not be present, I would like to thank the organizers of this um, interesting conference. Um, as you see, the title of my contribution is The Notebook to Reflect, to reflect on the Meaning of Life, an Education Proposal for the Guidance of Young Migrants. And uh, this uh, um, this uh, this work is within the framework of the research carried out in the FARO project. The FARO project, uh, Fare Reti e Orientare in Italian, in English, Make Networks and Guidance, was co-financed by the EU and the Italian Ministry of the um, Interior Affairs. And um, the FARO project was coordinated by Massimo Margottini and follows the path traced by the previous CREI project, uh, creating networks for immigrants. In addition to the Department of Education at Roma Train University, many training agencies from uh, Italian regions uh, um, uh, joined in the partnership. The project, which ended on the third first in March 2022, had the objective of experimenting the construction of an integrated network aimed at responding to the training and the work needs of citizens of third countries in some Italian territories. The project involved the use of multiple methodologies and tools developed by Roma Trail Research Group and submitted in training modules to the operators of local agencies for the instruction and training of young migrants. There were seven modules, all characterized by two closely related aspects, a theoretical section for study and reflection, and a laboratory section for the practical use of methodologies and tools. I'm sorry, Professor Larocca, but we don't not see your presentation. Oh, 
Uh, now I see my slide. So because I share it, Professor, you can oh, go back okay, to the stage. Yeah. Okay. I will control it for you. Okay. Um, because uh, when I say I I began or or you go to the third slide. Go. So so so. Okay 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 go. Sure. Okay okay. And uh, we are in module two. Oh, so the notebook to reflect on the meaning of life is the tool presented in module two, personal history, narration about oneself, personal experience, and the migratory project. And the uh, the theoretical framework. Uh, is uh, um, to measures the, to guide the young immigrants cannot be reduced to uh, the exclusive goal of identifying their professional skills to facilitate integration into the labor market. Rather, they should aim to bring out desires and projects, expectation and interest. Uh, go. Um, the structure of the notebook consists of the following six pages. One, the imagined future. Two, finding the meaning. Three, the analysis of the values. Four, the role of values in one's life. Five, developing the art of living. Six, the sharing. Um, now, for each page of the notebook, the exercises are briefly described below. Go. Um, the notebook was compiled on a Word file and assembled using a Google Drive presentation. As part of the FARO project, the notebook was tested in CPIA 2 and 3. CPIA uh, is in Italian Provincial Center for Adult Education in, uh, in Rome. Um, the notebook, uh, um, each notebook was compiled on a Word file and assembly use a uh, Google Drive, as I just said. And the administration period um, lasted six months and involved mainly four teachers from CPA2 and three teachers from CPIA3. Uh, the a total of uh, 50 immigrants, students from different parts of the world participated, as you see in, uh, in the slide. And um, the notebook was given to all the young migrants uh, attending CPIA classes with a level of Italian between basic and advanced. Now we go to see the pages of the notebook. For each page, the exercises are briefly described. Also, the quantitative results of the administration are reported. Here there is page one, the imagined future. Um, the teacher uses tools and materials to allow the person to build her his image of the future, to show her himself to the teacher and to whoever else she he wants. The operator emphasizes that the work is not finished and that the subject can add any other elements over time. This instruction is given on all pages. As you've seen, this page has been remarkable successfully. Only four students did not fill it out. Interestingly, most of the students used the images downloaded from the internet to give a picture of their future. Um, in the second page, uh, the second page is finding the meaning. The uh, teacher leads the person in doing two exercises. One, praise a character or a person considered exemplary. Two, describe an artwork of various kinds and reflection arising from its use. 
Um, also, page two was uh, successful. Uh, in the first exercise, uh, uh, most of the young migrants uh, show famous person as an example to follow, even if a large part referred to a family number. In the second exercise, uh, go on the, um, on the last slide, almost all described the artwork and expressed their feelings. Only 20 nights people spoke about the message of the work. A very good result given the difficulty of the task and the weak Italian spoken by the most participants. Go. Page uh, three, the analysis of the values. Um, the teacher leads the person in carrying out a free exercise. One, detect and analyze the values that the person identifies as her, his own. Two, reflect on the place that the identified values occupy in her, his existence and in relation to her, his time. Three, place the values in the perspective of professional and life development. The third page was successfully completed. From the values listed, the young people sorted out those they most felt their own. Then they reflected on how these values could be present in their lives. Um, page four, the rule of values in one's life. Um, the teacher leads the person in carrying out two exercises. One, imagine two possible life paths consistent with her, his values. Two, pay attention to the things that the person would like to do but is unable to do, identifying the causes. The first exercise was fully completed by the majority. Only uh, 11 of them did not. Um, the same happened with the second exercise uh, in the follow uh, slides. Uh, 11 people did not do it, and the majority only partially completed it. As you progress uh, through the pages of the notebook, the exercise becomes more complex, and therefore the level of the language probably makes it difficult to perform, even with the help of the teacher. Page five, developing the art of living. The teacher supports the person in two exercises. In the first, a form consisting of three columns is presented. Column one, statements regarding a behavior linked to existence are inserted. C2, description of the previous statements are inserted. C3, using a scale, the person must weigh each statement description. In the second exercise, a form consisting of two columns is presented. Column one, the previous statements are reported. C2, the person describes how she, he could perform the behaviors described in the statements. Too complex the exercise on page five were fully done by the majority. However, 11 people did not carry out the second exercise. It was probably difficult for the young migrants to imagine how to put into practice the behaviors described in the statements. This can be understood because it is difficult for them to plan a vision of their future life. Page six, um, sharing. The teacher creates small groups and invites the persons to share their completed notebook. The activity foreseen on the sixth page was fully carried out by one person only, as you see. Teacher said that young migrants has had difficulty in sharing the pages of their notebook with others. Compiling the pages led them to make a profound reflection on their values and on the meaning of their lives. Perhaps they did not want to share such intimate reflection in a group openly. One of the girls involved in a group is Ba, the protagonist of the case study that will be presented. Um, in the in this uh, slide, next slide, we saw we see the observation grid filled by the teacher. While each student filled the notebook, the teacher observed and took note of their behavior in a grid. The results are reported below. 
As you can see, the data obtaining using the observation grid show a strong participation of the students in the activities for the compilation of the notebook. In all descriptors, most behaviors are mapped with highly. However, 24.3% of the students did not fully understand the task. This data can be related to their familiarity with Italian and perhaps to the fact that young people are not used to reflect on their values and on the place they occupy in their lives. Oh, now, in the last slide, there is the link uh, for the uh, case study for Bath Notebook. Um, and I, I don't know, it is possible the, um, uh, to, to share this link. I don't know. Fan, can you please share the link inserted in the last slides of Professor La Rocca? Also in the chat, should be fine. Ah, Mary Mast. Che disaster. What a disaster. Fan, can you hear me? I will insert the link in the chat for you, Professor. Yes. Um, so, so I'm copying the link in the chat. Okay. Of the event. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, thank you very much, Professor Concetta Larocca, for your presentation. I'm pleased to. Um, uh, there are some questions to Professor Larocca. There are no questions in a QA box, but for sure, uh, um, Professor Larocca will be available also be an aid to answer to your questions and also at the end of this session. So, uh, thank you so much. 